Yo, what is going on guys? Bexu here and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Today's topic, as you can tell by the title, this has been going through my mind for a while now. It's been like two or three weeks that I've been debating this and I still am debating it. But let's hop right into it. First of all, I am thinking about switching to Halo for to do competitive. I haven't been in the competitive scene for a little bit now, but I'm thinking about switching to Halo for many reasons. I'm going to explain those all in this video. So for starters, it's still on Xbox. So I don't have to go out and spend $400 on a PS4 and then buy uh, Black Ops 3 for it. And then I'm half a year, and it's really hard to go pro in COD right now because the season's already set. Challenger Division's pretty much over, so it's it's really hard to go pro in COD. But it's not. I'm still debating this, so that's one reason why I want to switch is because it's still on Xbox. I can just hop on Halo on Xbox. I can, you know, get a team, scrim, play tourneys, and honestly get a lot of a lot of good work out of it and go to lands there and get noticed all because I don't have to spend four hundred dollars probably even nearing five hundred just to play COD and try to go pro in COD another reason that I'm thinking is uh there's in my opinion I don't know a lot about the Halo scene which is I don't know a lot about Halo scene but I think that it's a little bit easier right now to get noticed and get on a good team and you know start place placing well at events and becoming a pro and I think that just simply because it's like it just came back into being like a major eSport and with that with it just coming back in and being reintroduced really it means the people there's still pros that were pro in Halos before that are obviously just still going to be there and still going to be pro but I feel like it's easier to get noticed because because it's it's basically a new esport. It came back, and there's a ton of new names. You see, Optic Halo. It's they don't have a set roster. You know, they've they've done. This is going to be their third roster coming up. So that just tells you that it's easier to get onto a top team with without being on a top team already and you know getting traded or something. But and an another reason, so third reason is, well, this this isn't really a reason. It's it's why I'm hesitant. So, I've been in the Call of Duty community since uh, since Black Ops Two. I've been in the competitive community, and they've been. I've had a ton of fun playing it. I've been really good. I've been on good top top am teams. I've been on dominant teams that I've captained myself. I've been approached by a ton of or by a ton of amateur orgs and it's something I understand. I understand COD. I know how to go. I can just hop on UMG, play some matches, play some wagers or MLG. I can, you know, I know how to do that. In Halo, if I was to switch, I'd have to pretty much learn that all over again. I would have to know how how to go and get a match. Because I've looked at ladders for Halo on UMG and MLG, and they look very inactive. They look like no one's playing on them. So, that's something I have to figure out. My Twitter has already got a bunch, a bunch of Call of Duty, you know, uh, people on it. A bunch of Call of Duty outlets where I can get my information out. I can get information out to get a team, say I'm a free agent and stuff, which makes it easier for me for that. But I can't imagine it's going to be too difficult to do that with Halo. Um, but overall, I would... It's its a tough decision for me because if I switch to Halo, I could jump into eSports right now. Get a team. But what I don't understand is, you know, what will we do? Because I don't think there's wagers for Halo. I don't, I don't want to... Honestly, I don't want to just sit here and non-stop scrim. I, I don't care. I don't mind scrimming. I love it. It's good practice, but too much scrimming with it's like no results. You know, from a scrim, you don't get as much like stuff out of it. Like if you were to play a UMG or GB match, you get 
XP. You get a rank. You get to show your friends and, and people that you're good at the game, that you have a good rank, you know? With scrims, you don't you don't get to do that. You, the other team you scrimmed knows you're good, and but then no one else can know. So, it's it's just a huge debate that I've been having with myself for a long time now. I'm sure it's going to go on for a bit longer. Um, if you guys really want to keep up with it, honestly, my Twitter is going to be in the description below. You give it a follow. I tweet about stuff all the time. Uh, you'll stay up to date with me. You'll know everything that I know. So, this video is coming to an end. I just want to talk about the gameplay a little bit here. This was my sniper gameplay thing. It's a lot of pistol kills, but I got some nice sniper kills in there, some nice kill feeds. And I just enjoyed this. I the sound might be a little messed up when I was editing this. It didn't have, like, like loud sound. It had, like, really soft sound, or you just heard the hit markers and stuff. So if it's messed up, I apologize. Um... That's my bad, but this gameplay is coming to an end. So, as always, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I love seeing all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.